Hello everyone, how are you doing? First of all, say hi to one of my cats. Her name is Tara, and she is also pleased to see you today. Today I will be doing a review of my Lunt 60 millimeter telescope. This will be a non-technical review since I've learned that the majority of people interested in such things aren't don't really need to know the intricate details of a telescope just to know whether the telescope will do what they want it to do. I will be talking about the telescope itself in a not technical way and the camera that I use to perform astrophotography with this particular telescope. As for the LUNT 60 millimeter telescope, I think it's a great telescope. I will just do that from the start. One of the main advantages of it, as you can see here, is that it is relatively small. And that is great because that means you can travel with it. I found that if a telescope, and a lot of amateur astronomers will say this, if a telescope is too large and too burdensome to carry and set up, you are not going to use it. The LUNT is relatively small. It is lightweight. You can carry it in, you can carry it in the palm of your hand. And this telescope is particularly interesting in the sense that I have a pressure tune telescope and all that means is that it uses pressure to tune the telescope. You can see the sun with it. It is specifically designed to to observe the sun. It, the sun when viewing through this telescope, especially with a 25 millimeter eyepiece, it is relatively small. It is hard to see intricate details but you can see large sunspots and you can and you can see solar filaments so you can see everything you need to see with the sun but it is relatively small this telescope as i mentioned has is pressure tuned it also has a feather focuser so that you can really fine focus it so that's benefit lunt does sell different types of of focusers and I do have what's known as a soul searcher because when you're observing at night you can most of the time you look through a, a finder to find a particular star or planet or galaxy but you cannot look at the Sun and therefore what you do is that you use this to basically use this to find the Sun and the Sun will shine through here and you can focus it with this soul searcher and then you can point toward the telescope. It is relatively straightforward. As I mentioned, it is lightweight. It is great for the price. It can be you it you can see everything that you need with the sun. It doesn't provide great detail like oh 80 millimeter and plus, but it provides enough detail that if you're just beginning and you're worried about spending too much money for a solar telescope, it provides exactly what you need. As for what I use for solar photography, there are different ways people you do solar, solar photography with this type of telescope. One, you can use a DSLR camera, which can be done is not exactly the most optimal of ways. One of my videos I show attaching a DSLR camera to my LUNT and I wasn't really getting the images that I wanted to get. What I ended up doing was using what's known as a camera. I used a ZWO camera and this one is the 178 millimeter. Now this is a mo a monochrome, which means the images come in black and white, which is appropriate for doing solar photography. You do have a choice in using a color camera, but I necessarily wouldn't do that. I haven't found people who do use a monochrome, not saying that you can't, but you're, it, it gives you a chance to, in the processing, put the sun in its natural light. Whereas if you use a monochrome, you're getting the you're getting the image as viewed through the LUNT telescope. And since you're using a solar filter, it's not exactly the true light that you're look, looking at. So using a monochrome gives you the chance to you to 
to put the sun in its natural color when you when you process it. The 178 millimeter does change the field of view. So when using, let's say, a 25 millimeter eyepiece, the sun is is medium size when you're observing it visually, but when you're using the 178 millimeter, the field of view changes, and the sun is quite large when you're looking at it through the computer screen. You can still you will see the sun, you will see everything. The sun is very large; it fits on the screen, so you can see the the entire circumference of the sun, and it it, it might not look like much but once you process it it will it, the sun will turn out beautifully you will ap really appreciate getting the lunch 60 millimeter and using it with a 178 monochrome camera and the setup is relatively simple the the zwo cameras come with capturing software so you don't have to worry about that so all you have to do is download the software they'll they'll give you the details of how to do it when you buy it when you buy it and you just attach the camera to the telescope and then you attach the telescope, I mean the camera to your computer and you're good to go. And it's really quite simple. All you do is that's it. That's it. Now you will, if you're looking at the sun visually and you decide to go back to the mono, use a monochrome camera for your photography, you will have to refocus everything. But once you refocus everything, the sun will look amazing. You'll be able to record your images. And then once you go through processing, then you'll get images that you can show your family and friends and they'll, and they'll think it's absolutely fascinating. And that's basically it for this non-technical, non-technical review. I hope. I have convinced you to look into getting a Lunt 60 millimeter telescope and I will talk to you soon.